question of an off ramp for Putin and a question of an off ramp for Russia. Uh, what's your experience in Finland? Can that be negotiated? Can weaknesses be demonstrated enough that there's a change in position? Or does Putin feel quartered? Does the New York Times today saying that the concern he's going to be quartered and get double down, all, all in? When you play all in, actually, you have only one way out. Yes. Yes. Unfortunately, there isn't one only one way out, yeah. and 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 uh, I expect that uh, all these four. Actually, when I mentioned all these four risks he has taken, each of them can be can be enough. So, if political risk is going to be realized, he's going to be gone. If the, if the economic risk is going to be realized, he is going to be gone. But the technological risk is the biggest one, actually. Okay. It's not that visible yet, but on the longer term, uh, it, it will be. And I can see inside Russia two generations. This uh, Putin generation, which is still uh, Soviet, uh, Soviet generation in a way. Yeah. And, and he believes that Russia can be like a battle, so it can be it can be isolated from the outside world. But the younger generation is understands that uh, it's right. totally dependent, not only economically, but technologically dependent on the on the, on the Western world. And I, I think this is a huge generational issue as well. Uh, I hope that this new generation, which is close to come, is not going to be destroyed by this effort. Yeah. If not, they will take over someday. I don't know when, but they will take over someday this uh, that country but there is a risk that th this war is going to destroy the future of the, of the country and that is that will be have it will have uh, dramatic consequences I'm, I'm sure about that yeah I would agree. my I, I've spent time in Russia uh, Moscow working with the young entrepreneurs and I will say they they're very eager to be part of Europe they're eager to be part of the global economy and I think they feel stifled. And this, of course, will increase that even more. And we can see which uh, which way. If they survive, they'll be a hopeful sign. Yeah. So uh, the uh, uh, how does the, uh, Joel, briefly from you, what's your view of uh, how does the developing world view this war? Is this uh, uh, on the agenda? I've noticed a lot of abstentions from Africa, et cetera. Is this just waiting to get clarity, or is this truly a concern about uh, declaring for one side or the other? You're on mute, I'm sorry. Still on mute, Joel. No, I thank you for coming back to me on this question. Uh, uh, the think tank I, I, I chair has more than half of its board members and activity coming from developing countries, uh, uh, Africa being sizable in it, India being sizable in it. Uh, I think what uh, this part of the world thinks about the current crisis is absolutely clue. Their current perception is, I would say, very aligned to what the prime minister was just saying. They care for future for Ukraine, but they equally care for future for Russia and for the younger generations. They understand that they've been sensitized to uh, the collapse of some countries Syria, Libya, uh, Iraq. So they've been wary with the interventions of what they call the West. They don't see so much that this time the West has changed, but this time you cannot compare. Comparison is no reason, but they're very concerned with that. That's very important. And the generational aspect, the technological aspect, the willingness to connect to a world which is where they can see uh, that this world no longer works on the premises of the 20th century is important. That's why what was mentioned earlier, clarity in the international relation, mm -hmm. balance, even if, you know, this uh, fantasy of one country, one vote is, is a good fantasy, that is a fantasy. But some, some sense of balance, some sense of rules is important. Mm -hmm. And I think that... What, all to, what will be done in the coming weeks in Ukraine and on Ukraine, not just on the military side, but also on mobilizing financial tools, economic tools, will be important to give a sense to uh, developing countries that they can adhere to that or that they should refrain 
from adhering to it. The uh, uh, question was raised of the role, uh, actually the point is made that she could be the uh, determining player in this. Uh, Africa, of course, has a lot of relationships to China. Uh, I think some viewed as positive developmental infrastructure, but some negative to it because of the debt load. Uh, do you see Africa as potentially a, sort of a, adding to the conversation with China, saying we need this clarity, we need you to step in and get focused back on the whole world, not on just a conflict? I'll be very quick on the billion dollar question. Uh, two things. First of all, many of our African friends tell us we're done with China. We've got what we had to get from China unless they refine the relationship. But we got the infrastructure, we got the debt, we got the loans. They don't provide the equity. The West gives the equity. They don't provide sophisticated markets, sophisticated finance. The West might be providing it. Uh, they don't help us so much in our position within the international system. And they've helped us, we Africans, diversify our relationship, leverage on this Chinese relationship with the other continents, countries and powers. So, in a sense, they got most of China. And they understand the difficulties that China will have. Now, on this uh, situation of Ukraine, as I observe and as we observe as a think tank very closely the Chinese reaction, what we see today, we see something that many commentators have, uh, have mentioned already. We see a growing discomfort with, uh, with Russia. Not so much because, uh, I mean, for two reasons. One, because as was mentioned, uh, Russia has brought the West together, back again. And uh, it's no good news for China. The second reason is that uh, Putin, being an ally of, of, of Xi Jinping, has uh, crossed a border Xi Jinping doesn't want, which is to, uh, 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 to, to, to contest borders. Yeah. Because to him, Taiwan is part of China. Mm -hmm. And the day you can contest a border, you can contest this myth, this foundational myth for the Chinese Communist Party that Taiwan is part of China. They have time, but they don't want the vision to change. Mm 